So, I was looking at the base model breakout and yeah, it had a whole raked out, hard tail chopper thing going for it. But something was throwing me off. Something was wrong with the profile. The fly line was off. I was looking at a soft tail that looked more like a diver around the fuel tank area. Then it struck me, the tank mount panel that also encompasses the speedometer on the rest of the range and covers the gap between the old split tanks was gone. A clean, one-piece tank replaced it, and the instrumentation was digitized and integrated with the handlebar riser cap. Not only is this about as clean as it gets, but it gets a great big hunk of chrome off the tank that seems to have been put there as a sort of torture device that bounces the sun up under your shades to lands into your eyes. Can you tell I wasn't a fan? You can definitely pencil me in as liking the one-piece tank, though. True to its proper, gasser roots, the breakout line has its fenders paired back to the minimum. The bob front fender is fairly big enough to protect the rider from wheel spray, and the rear fender comes cut back to the struts. Short handlebars, forward controls and the typical, deep scoop soft tail seat form an aggressive windsock riding position that pulls both hands and feet forward.